Right, hello, my name's Anthony Cummins and welcome to Shinobi Soldiers episode 8, Fire and Explosives. Now, one thing that's underestimated about the Shinobi, the fact that they were really impressive explosive experts and fire users, if you will, and their bushcraft was amazing. Now what we do know is we can categorise how they used fire and explosives. First of all, we know they used it for arson. Very often in a... Um, documentation they say oh I'm trying to get into a castle isn't it lucky we've got 10 Iga no Mono or 10 Shinobi send them in and usually the report afterwards is they set fire to a castle or they set fire for arson so in a lot of the manuals it talks about arson a lot of the time and a big part of the uh, ninja's job during uh, Indian that was the dark ninjutsu became a lot of fire starting and a lot of arson techniques now Moving on from that, we know they used it for warmth. Now we do know that a common technique in ancient Japan and mentioned in the Shinobi manuscripts is the act of burning the ground. So they'd set a fire, burn the ground, then pile the earth on top and they'd sleep on top of the hot earth with the ashes underneath just to keep them warm in their mountain regions when they were travelling at night. Um, to add to that, we know they had a hand warmer, which uh, comes in two forms. You get a a tube, a copper cylinder tube with embers or sometimes it's like a burnt rope that is used for fi starting fires or hand warmers things like that, starting explosives or muskets when they're firing generally it's an all purpose fire tool but that would be in there further to this we know that um, the ninja used it for infiltration now there is a mass, a massive amount of torches that they were used and it's really quite amazing how complex these torches were from waterproof ones to um, 12 miles ones, 24 mile ones, X amount of hour ones, even separated into different reed ones, tree bark torches, everything they would get resin and they would make gunpowder and they would mix the two together, add them to torches and use them all. One amazing concept is where in a Shinobi manual, I forget which one, it says that you should, um, when you're looking through into people's houses you should use these tree bark torches which are again how I said and you use them to look through the openings and to check inside they're only tiny little torches um, also believe it or not uh, you can tell another ninja or a ninja could tell if another one was a ninja by the type of torch they used now I've talked to my translator a lot about this what it seems to mean is that by the type of smell sound or image that uh, the gunpowder burning would give a true ninja could tell another one by the quality of the type of uh, torch that they have made. That's our best theory on it, but it's um, it's really quite impressive. Then, of course, we've got signalling. We do know that Shinobi used fire for signalling, um, mainly in the form of um, smoke signals. So you'd get lots of wolf dropping mixtures, smoke signals going on. We don't really know how at the minute they actually signalled each other. We just know that there was a signal used via wolf fire wolf um, pellet smoke if you will they usually get wolf droppings and use the smoke from them so that's quite impressive then on top of that we also know which is the amazing bit is the explosives bit the firearms bit we do know that the shinobi did use a lot of firearms and that they had grenades now some come in pot clays some were landmines um, we've got a strange one which is a cylinder esque thing. At first I thought it was bamboo, but now it looks like it may be pot. But generally, the, pot, the, co the point is, is that they have an explosive device that will usually throw into the mists of people and it'll explode and there'll be carnage, bits of shrapnel shot going everywhere. And it's said often in the manuals that when you throw these, it's to throw into an enemy and try and scatter the enemy. Or if you need to escape quickly from a shinobi mission, throw them in and the smoke and fire and explosives and people get confused and that's when a shinobi can slip away. So we do know, so apart from your shinobi research and training, you really need to concentrate on gunpowder and fire and survival and bushcraft. They seem to be really expert in these areas, more so in other areas, even to the point where there's a theory that they became explosive experts later on or riflemen squads and things like that as the Edo period uh, progressed and the ninja died out. So I'll leave you with that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you for the next episode.